Hi everybody, welcome to Theory World and thanks for watching our tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to add a domain to your Google Webmaster Tools. And uh, this is actually one of the most important steps when you first uh, have your website, um, when getting started with uh, search engine optimization and optimizing your website. Now remember, your website is seen uh, by people and by Google. And uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that it's seen by Google the right way because Google is going to be uh, the one presenting your website's pages in search results. So the first thing you want to do is open a window and uh, you want to type in a google.com forward slash webmaster tools, no, webmaster forward slash tools. And that should redirect you to the search console. Now, if you're logged in, it will just bring you in just like that. If you're not logged in, um, it's going to prompt you to log in. And you just log in with your Google credentials. I highly recommend you have a Google, uh, a Gmail account. Uh, even if you don't have one, create one. Um, and I highly suggest you create a, a professional account. You know, pay that $4 a month. It's worth every penny. <clears throat> so once you're logged in, uh, I'm going to tell you which domain I'm working on right now. I've already added a, a domain, and um, so I'm going to just <clears throat> scroll over to the next uh, domains here. Uh, da, da, da. So I can just go with alphabetically. So this is the domain that uh, actually I have not added the domain yet because I've added this domain, the parent domain, but I haven't added the subdomain. So you're going to click on Add a Property. And then what you want to do is type in the domain name. And the domain name is, this is very important that you do this correctly. So this is a website, right? It's not an Android app, it's a website. So we're going to type in HTTPS. And the name of the domain is booking.kickstartscapes.com.au. That's the name of the domain, right? Now, um, you're probably wondering, what if it's uh, www? No, it's not, because <laughs> the only way is uh, this is replacing the www is the booking. So the dub 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 is being replaced replaced by booking, and so basically this is a subdomain because dub 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 is technically a subdomain. Um, so I'm going to click add. So once we add the property, Google is going to prompt us to verify it. And we can verify it in several ways. But for now, I'm going to verify it using an HTML tag. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this HTML tag here. And we're going to go over to our file manager. Now, if you don't know what the file manager is, what you need to do is you need to log into your cPanel account. Um, if you don't have a cPanel account, you need to you probably do like 90% of the time you have a cPanel account so you want to click on file manager over here if you have a different interface it's okay you'll find file manager it's there it's just different uh, design now when you click on file manager you will land on this page over here <clears throat> and you want to make sure that you're in the public underscore HTML just make sure that on this part here on the left side it's public underscore HTML and what you want to do now is you want to click on upload you don't want to upload it to the wrong uh, folder, so make sure you're in the public underscore HTML and nothing in front of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to download the file from Google. Uh, actually, no, we're going to uh, click on, uh, we're going to upload a meta tag. We're not uploading a file. I'm sorry. So we're going to come back here. I'm going to close this window because I was thinking about uploading a file. And we're going to click on the index.html. <clears throat> so... In your case, it would be the home page, but the home page is always index.html. It could be <clears throat> index.php. And if it's a PHP site, you want to add it on your uh, header.php template. Okay. Actually, yeah, it dep depends on your on, on how uh, <clears throat> your structure is. So you click on uh, edit, code editor, right over here. And then you click on edit again. 
and that will open a new page of your page, right? That's going to be all coded. And what you want to do is you want to, all. it's not, uh, this is very easy. All you want to do is find the end. So you can put it at the very top. So right here where the title is, that's the title of the page. Uh, click on that and hit enter. Don't click in the center of it. Click at the very end and hit enter. And we're going to paste it in here. That's all you got to do. And click save. And once you click save, open the search console and click on verify. And now what Google is going to do is going to verify it. Perfect. So it's verified. And you want to click on continue. So now we have HTTPS booking.kickstartescapes.com.au. So the first thing you want to do is you want to configure the property settings. And in this case, <clears throat> we only have the root level. Uh, we only have, um, we don't have the option to choose, to choose that we want our domain to be presented as, um, you know, HTTPS, our domain.com versus HTTPS dot, um, HTTPS dot, 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 our, dot, our domain dot com. So in this case, we don't have that. <clears throat> but if we did, we would have to uh, add more properties and then choose the preferred domain. So in this case, we don't. And that's what I wanted to show you. This is uh, very simple, very easy. And um, I'm going to show you another tutorial in getting you familiar with the Search Console. Thanks for watching. And see you in the next tutorial.